Light Traders Samurai Trader back with you with session 84 how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge I actually meant to do this in a couple of other videos last week but unfortunately I decided to catch some sort of throat virus and I lost my voice so just about fully recovered so uh, once again running a wee bit late on getting some of these videos out so traders uh, oh look I should finish this you can tell them a wee bit rusty if $1,000 a day is not enough increase the number of contracts that you trade uh, in actually in today's session you'll see I'm only trading one contract it was just before the live trading room session where I trade one contract rather than my normal five so normally most of you are aware I'm after between two and three hundred dollars per contract I trade usually I finish within about 30 minutes to one hour in today's session we only have one contract however that's still very important particularly for the newbies and what I'm going to be teaching you today you just add more, more contracts so rather than one you might want to be trading 10 for an example I tend to find the young guns uh, <laughs> they're quite happy to get up there and trade the, uh, the 10 and 20 contracts I'm happy now with my age actually that makes me sound old I'm in my 60s but I'm quite happy just to trade five contracts on average now what I do cover in these sessions uh, you can apply to futures Forex and stocks you can apply to uh, any market now as always there is a risk in trading you feel welcome to pause the video if you want to read the uh, disclaimer the bottom line is traders don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable now if you're a brand new trader what I cover in these sessions is really for a wide range of traders from the uh, brand new trader or someone considering a day trading career right through to maybe someone that's been trading 30 or 40 years so some of what I cover may go straight over your head and as this great little diagram says if you're trying to pick it up all at once it will seem like you're trying to uh, drink out of a fire hose I actually run a live trading room three mornings a week and I have uh, a, a live coaching room which I run every Tuesday and Wednesday evening uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that's where you really pick up the uh, uh, basically all the ingredients everything that's really required so don't feel overwhelmed okay this is not rocket science it's just a matter of learning the lingo there's also one other thing that I really should say here and I forgot I had that slide there and that is the Goldilocks rule and that really gets uh, and really meets up with the last slide that is if you want to really master the art of day trading you'll see that quite often I'll talk about three or four maybe five or six different setups at times that I may have taken well when you're a brand new trader we've got to remember the Goldilocks rule or if trading has not been kind to you up till now that is you want to have your trading not too hard not too easy just right and what that means is starting off with trend trading and only a couple of setups uh, like for an example you'll hear me talk about 34 B's and 2 B's trading with the trend that's where you start now if I remember correctly I do one counter trend trade and two with trend trades uh, in today's session but remember trade with the trend initially uh, very quickly quick advertisement um, if you haven't already downloaded my ebook for truth about day trading also you can go in the description link below and you'll see the spreadsheets that I refer to and you can download those as well they form a very important part of your trading as you'll see in a moment when we talk about setting some goals for your trading uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all of my videos also if you're a brand new trader or if you're an experienced trader finding things tough come and join me as a member for 100 this is very quick advertisement by the way I'm not going to go on and on but for 197 dollars you get uh, all of my indicators uh, there's hundreds of hours of video instruction there's over 38 powerpoints the great news is if you're a new trader or maybe if you're a middle-aged trader and are wanting to learn and uh, you think gee am I going to be overwhelmed you don't have to take all of this in at once 
this is where you attend my coaching sessions this is where we really break it down and you can type in questions so I've also got a bonus going at the moment so not only do you get my whole package for 197 but you can also attend one month of coaching classes okay so eight two hour sessions if you can't attend those you can watch the recordings okay so now I'm really there holding your hand traders trading is just not just about reading a book or watching a video once again there's a lot of small things that come into into place uh, and it's really important that you get that hands-on coaching right let's move on so I know many of you see me run through this every video why it's critical you show me a man or, or woman with a compelling future um, uh, and I'll show you a man or woman that can do this that is are you interested in trading merely interested or are you a committed trader someone that's merely interested will do whatever's convenient a committed trader will do whatever it takes and that's literally what it really needs in this business I can give you everything but screen time now what can really fire you up and really get you moving with your day day trading career what would would a thousand dollars a day trading two or three hours a day mean to you as a family or to you and your family would five thousand dollars a week be a life changer well I would say for 98 percent of a population it would be and this is where so many traders get it wrong they want to automatically or they'll watch a video and they think they can start earning five hundred to a thousand dollars a day per contract can you do that absolutely particularly if you're trading a higher time frame however the reality is for newer traders um, you've got to take baby steps all of a sudden you go and hit one hundred dollars a day per contract and if you can do it once you can do it again and again but what it also really means if you're scalping or maybe day trading the after hours market that is after 6 p.m. of an evening uh, you can easily be trading 10 lots and romping $100 to $300 a day in this is a reality now today unfortunately on this video uh, you'll see I just really fired these off just before the live room uh, I was only up $300 plus in I don't know I think it was less than 20 minutes we'll see in a moment most of you know I usually trade uh, for an example of the next video I'm, I'm recording straight after this one the play catch-up uh, was one where I was up uh, $1,500 I can't remember it was in less than an hour um, uh, $300 per contract this is a reality as I'm going to be showing you how to do this now you start setting goals like this and start to say hang on this has potential well I'm going to show you how you can do this realistically now trading literally is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise what I'm looking for on my charts is patterns for an example you'll see I use indicators now most of the indicators I use subject um, really against what the public opinion may be are leading indicators I love floor pivots the high low and close uh, the high and low of day uh, yesterday's high yesterday's open high low and close you'll actually probably see this when we get to uh, the chart examples today is that we bounce off these areas every day and as the late Mark Douglas said probably the greatest trading psychology uh, psychologist there was and I don't think actually he was a trained psychologist but he was a trader for many years he wrote a couple of excellent books and uh, he's got some excellent videos videos on YouTube as in his book here the disciplined trader he states to become an expert choose one simple system that identifies a pattern preferably one is that is mechanical so you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior traders that's exactly what I'm doing and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do we're merely looking for patterns patterns that we appear that appear in the market every day now in today's session you'll see I'm trading what we call a six tick 
Renko you can't trade that time frame during New York and it just amazes me how many traders will will drop me an email oh you can't do this you can't trade that during of course you can't trade a six tick and I say it nearly every video or a four tick why do I love trading a four tick or a six tick or um, uh, time frames well because they suit me down under for an example um, uh, at around the just before the London Open or a couple of hours before the London Open that's 2 a.m. Central Standard Time okay now that's 5 6 p.m. my time that's fantastic trading conditions and I can trade a lower time frame however as we uh, get closer to the New York Open we need to increase the time frame that we trade once again traders don't try to find what is wrong with these setups look for what is right unfortunately we approach so many things that how can I fault this instead of looking at it what's great about this and this is why so many traders fail They're always looking for the negatives in things so with that being said this is um, what I'm going to be showing you today in fact because this was over very very quickly three trades for three wins so once again the room that particular day was opening up at uh, 3 a.m. central so uh, in this particular case I fired them off very very quickly so there's not a whole lot to show you I'm still going to show you this on the charts so we're actually going to start from about two hours beforehand so I can explain another number of other potential setups now you may be happy to keep trading for four or five hours uh, I tend to find that most of my traders are middle-aged 50 age plus love to get in and spend no more than two or three hours maybe the young guns yep you can do your six hours in front of the screens but it can be tiring we're looking at price action going up and down up and down up and down I want to get in get out get paid but what we'll do um, we'll spend a bit more time on the charts prior to these setups so I can explain exactly what I'm looking for now you've already hear me, heard me talk about and excuse my English here um, as I said haven't been on here for a couple of weeks actually it's been a week um, and and these are raw real and unedited these sessions is you've got to create a compelling future but also your compelling future has got to be realistic it's no good look you want to reach for the stars and at least hit the moon okay but it's no good saying I want to go out there and be earning hundred thousand a month in the first 30 days that is just not real but let's talk about what is real now let's just say here if you do have six or seven thousand dollars and you'll see how that relates in a moment if you haven't seen my videos before now in today's session I'm trading a higher time frame which means I need a larger account now even if you've got six thousand dollars you'll see in a moment why that's relevant start off by trading a micro you see the beautiful part about it is now traders you can start on the micro make all the mistakes you're going to make before you go to start trading the big contract now what if you don't have six thousand dollars well here in this particular case if you've got six hundred dollars and you target thirty dollars a day only within 12 weeks we now have the money the funds to go and fund a large contract rather than be trading 11 micro contracts you're going to trade one big contract so as you probably just heard me say even if you've got 6,000 start here why make all the mistakes you're going to make on a micro contract because you are going to make mistakes hey I still make mistakes every day I miss out on trades I <coughs> excuse me sometimes I'll go to break even too early uh, you know they, look that's trading you know you, you're always learning something I've been doing this for 28 years and seriously every day I go and kick myself oh, what do I do that for but once again believe it or not if you're staying within your money management rules trading can still be very forgiving now we we go for our $30 a day what we then do traders we then roll over so we then in 12 weeks we we're up to nearly seven thousand dollars and I should point out the way this works if you're new uh, to my videos you only start trading your second contract when you double your money 
when you get another 600 in you start trading the third contract when you get another 600 in so this is a realistic progressive um, um, a con uh, a compounding plan which is using the markets money now can you really do this well you can see on this particular day just trading one lot on the micro Australian members had to do is $63 88 this is just on trading one micro lot so is it realistic you betcha and a lot more that is you can do a lot better than your 30 40 50 dollars now remember back here what was I after I was only after uh, where is it here again just to show you that whoops uh, wrong one let me get back up to here let me jump in all over the place yeah yes thirty dollars a day and you can see there that was double that on only one contract okay so it's realistic traders now once you've then got your six thousand dollars we start targeting three hundred dollars a day now this is on the six tick Renko which we're going to go to the charts and I'll fully explain when we get there okay so this is on the six tick Renko now what is a Renko so a Renko chart is and Renko actually stand um, uh, it means brick in Japanese so you've got Heikenashi charts then you've got Ha charts which is a combination between Renko and Heikenashi and then of course you've got time-based charts you've got uh, range candles you, there's a lot of different types of uh, charts you can use uh, the beautiful thing about Renko and even Ha charts which you rarely hear about which a lot of my members use uh, is that smooths out price action and particularly for a newer trader it makes trading decisions very easy okay so uh, and the size of the candles because we never risk more than two percent will then affect the account size that you require now what it really means then is this by targeting three hundred dollars a day within nine weeks I've got the potential there of earning ten thousand dollars a week trading only eight contracts now as you'll see whether it be one contract or five contracts uh, I could make that ten I'm very happy trading this five that suits my um, trading personality now and where I am with my financial life I lead a great lifestyle um, you trade the number of contracts that suits you <laughs> we usually find the young guns of course they want to be going for their fifty hundred thousand dollars a week is that reality absolutely look at the boys from SMB capital some of those are doing 10 20 million a year trading someone else's money which of course is prop firms you can go and use my strategies now and go to apex or other companies and trade their capital but you've got to be or have successful trading strategies to begin with but the bottom line is this remember we've always got to be asking how all right so this looks great but how do we get there well here we're trading the six of a five or sorry the six or seven step which I'll show you in the moment on the charts what that means I only need between three and four net trades a day and that's where I can be financially now the bottom line is this and this is about setting realistic targets where will you be financially in 23 weeks because if you start out with $600 go for only $30 a day in 12 weeks potentially that's where you are I've got to say potentially because you've got to follow the rules okay so many traders don't want to do that they want to break for 2% rule or they'll take counter trend trades or whatever okay so here you follow the rules you're there you now go over another 11 weeks now okay we're up to 10,000 a week our account size is also gone from $600 talk about compounding to 54,000 and I've got a $10,000 a week income that is the true potential now the real question is now then how do we get there okay what's the reality well let's look at this to begin with so before we go to the charts here are some key considerations if you're a brand new trader these may not sound like much to you or they may seem confusing it's a new language but there believe me 
uh, there are indicators as you'll see in a moment to plot all of these for you and it's just that it's really just about working out how to use these tools just like a carpenter will have a hammer a power saw and a whole lot of other things these are different tools that we will use now we want to know where our pivot levels are where the prior days open high low and close levels are where our major EMAs this is critical where our intraday swing highs and lows are and the current days high and low very easy once you understand what they mean and that's where after four or five let's just say after 10 hours of coaching you'll really know um, uh, what these are and what they mean and why they're so important so I'm going to give you a pretty good idea now now see this uh, purple line down here this is what we call a 200 EMA they say that EMAs are not predictive but oh how wrong the traders are that say that you see with the major EMAs so many of us trade into these professionals know how to trade these and we will sell into these and we'll buy off these and they kick butt day in day out traders will look at this and say what about these indicators here why do we have to have so many indicators well for a start just a very quick background the the, the color shading there I call that the cloud that's just showing me that the majority of the indicators are above the 89 then I've got um, a, a, a MACD down here this is called a platinum then I've got long-term stochastics and this here for members watching this you'll know this is uh, basically you've got a beautiful t10 there you've got a um, basically a t10 and a t20 um, dash one just said now we code our setups you'll hear me quite often say a 2b rather than go through and explain give it a great big name exactly what it means but down here uh, this is what we call a 3b thank you very much now remember a few minutes ago I said to you uh, that we want so many steps in a move okay like here we're going for I love going for between five and seven steps now on this time frame each step is worth $15 I won't go into all the ins and outs of a different market so every time we get a step up that's $15 per contract now realistically my entry is not going to be up here till here one two three four five six seven uh, not going to be up till here one two three four five uh, and I should point out your break even for me is five steps so once I get to break even, one well, sorry once I get the plus five I'm gonna go to break even now what that means is we go to our entry price plus a couple of ticks I want to cover my commissions now when we sell into a major EMA particularly the 200 you want to cover your trade that is you want to exit your trade nearly every time I want to exit down here why because we see this happens so these become predictive so um, and by the way from there one two three four five six now you easily got your seven but quite frankly I would have been out up here because I've hit the 89 and I would have already been a break even and then it comes back and it would have stopped me out with a profit anyway but anyway look so you've got to just do jump straight into it you've got an entry there you've got an entry uh, right there you've then got uh, an entry just there thank you now when we pull back see the white paint bar that's called my super scalper that makes particularly for a newer trader the trading very very mechanical now as we're pulling back pulling back pulling back now I want you to notice just here traders what's happening just there see that um, magenta line that is the current day's low the lime color up there that's the current day's high so as we reach these levels quite often we'll then have rejection now this is midnight Okay, Eastern Standard Time by the way so this is um, uh, 11 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time it's midnight and uh, then the high end day rolls over and starts to plot again 
but these become what we call price magnets as the pivots do and as yesterday's close etc and you'll see more of that in a moment now as we come down here this is what we call a 200 overshoot well almost actually uh, we've got a long trade here now what makes this very very easy traders when I say actually let me take that back what makes trading of so much uh, easier not very easy is we trade in the direction of a higher time frame and let me just minimize this and see if I've got it just there my yes I do have so just there I've got what we call on the right there an anchor chart one now one of the most important lessons I can give you is that when we have a retracement on a lower time frame we want to be trading in the direction wait for the super scalper and then be trading in the direction of the higher time frame so look how flat we are just here what do we do not sure look over at your anchor chart or we'll look at this here our 89 is in an uptrend we can see we've got a high up here that makes a good logical target my EMAs are bouncing I'm getting a bounce off an EMA when I get my super scalper I'm going to take the trade now we then pull back here for members watching it if you missed the uh, the 2 3 B just there you just had what a t10 just there and away we go now as we come up what's in front of the trade and this is where it's very very important with any trade we take we say do I have blue skies ahead now what do I mean by that so we can see just here we've got uh, the markets just really rolled over an hour ago so just up we've got some major areas of resistance here we should punch through those no problems at all then we've got a pivot and then we've got the high of day so you usually find you'll punch through these fairly quickly in the first hour okay so as we come up and I'm going to be fairly quick here because I do want to uh, get to the three trades here and I notice we're almost 26 minutes in now here is a great lesson for you here we've made a lower low got a new potential higher high I'm going to see if I can get a higher low in here how do I identify that the white paint bar the super scalper so if the super if there it is right there now it's not qualified till now so about now you would be in this trade now remember a few minutes ago I said what's in front of us well what we can see just above here we've got a pivot and we've got the day's high since midnight so logically the high which is not too far above the pivot would be my number one target so one two three whoops now notice that just there a wee bit of a bounce off a pivot three four five six seven great I got my seven steps out of that now remember earlier on that sheet let me pull it up and just bring this up I just want to show you how logical this can be now once again traders your doubts become your biggest traders can you really do this no I can't there your doubts saying that to you you don't let your doubts become your traders look at the logic of what I'm teaching you here we're bouncing off trending EMAs in the direction of the higher time frame all I need to hit my $300 a day per contract is three seven step trades a day or four six step trades a day why is that relevant just here this one here one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven there's two of our with trend trades right there and we haven't even discussed counter trend trades or anything else now we're now making a brand new high as you can see now what is absolutely critical that 
uh, just here we've already uh, sorry that this is what you'll see me do regularly is pull this down what's in front of my trade why I might have a major pivot you'll understand you'll learn what that means and how to trade those but we could have a major area of support or resistance above us so what's next I'm going to look for a pullback okay we've got one setting up right here now let's just quickly talk about divergence I'll try to keep this to 45 minutes now if you're going to switch off because you're not learning anything you're probably not a winning trader up to now because what I tend to find is winning traders look for ideas to improve what they're already doing losing traders will keep looking for the next shiny object syndrome oh, I tried this it didn't work well you haven't tried it the right way I'm about to show you something here which can be golden can make you a small fortune now just here yes we can look at that as what we call big picture divergence but what you'll find is see I've got that point there to this point here after a re retracement if you've got no divergence it will nearly always mean trend continuation so here I do have a wee bit of divergence uh, and I've got no real short-term divergence on my um, uh, anchor chart one why is that important well this setup that I've got just here is almost certain to continue or at least to give me a winning trade why when you've got no divergence on your highest time frames after a pullback you'll nearly always get a trend continuation so one two whoops now nope we're bouncing off the high here I think that was two three four five six seven there just made it above seven so there's another trade now now we're going to have what we call a 2d or double divergence it's only subtle and we're moving quite quickly here but see here high high on price lower high and over here we've got divergence here now this is very unique the way I trade divergence here traders so newer traders you don't even want to consider divergence trading in your early days okay you're banned from counter trend trading why because 80% 80 percent of the time where you've got inertia you'll get a deep pullback or a pullback and the trend will continue so what we've got here is a little 2d okay so we're not going to take this uh, if you trade divergence you do have a pullback but I'm not going to take this so I'm just going to wait and see if I get a deeper pullback now just here look this is uh, what I call a, uh, a 34 13 I'm not going to take it though uh, just because it was after a 2d so members remember we do not take 34 B's after a 2d and you can see there we do have a couple of t10s on the way down now I'm getting interested in a potential trade now we do now have a potential long here now it's not a stunning setup but it is a setup just here it is uh, this is uh, yes yeah, so you've got a 34 13 type setup there now let me explain and I'm going to move ahead quickly I was going to run out of time here but see this here this is the current day's high what we've got to be aware of traders is that uh, the current day's high will become quite often a very strong support resistance level so if I took this trade I'm not going to be in this trade until at least up here somewhere so when I come up and hit the current day's high I will quite often go to break even cover my commissions lock in what I can why because we quite often bounce off it we don't always but just be aware we'll quite often bounce off that level so let's just say we get in just here shall we let's just be very conservative with our entry so one two three four five six now we didn't quite touch seven steps just there we didn't quite touch seven but we're already at break even remember up here anyway so we're mighty fine and as we're uh, training up you'll trail your stop why quite often you'll get a deep pullback 
this may sound complicated but once you see it in action it's very straightforward excuse this beep this is my air conditioner is turning that off okay so trading with the trend and I'm just going to move along quickly because we're running out of time it's another setup here uh, you've got another now we'll see what happens just here see this uh, here this is what you call angulation by the way see our price section is strongly angling away whenever you've got angulation uh, like that just there expect a deeper pullback and quite often when you've got angulation you'll have divergence now uh, is that a t3 one two three ah uh, yes and for members watching this here you've actually got a t3 right there now a t3 is a reversion to the mean setup trade is where we don't need any um, uh, divergence I discovered a little formula that within a certain distance um, away from your major EMAs becomes a very high probability pullback very mechanical in its ways very rules based if you've got angulation and once you understand the formula it's very simple so and look at that there thank you very much you would have had a nice little profit out of that but what I was about to say is this here is another entry now this is as good as a two is this a 2bd let me just tell you ah uh, yes now this is a 2bd entry for members watching this 2bd why will we still consider taking this one look at the long-term stochastic on your anchor chart one it's still overbought but if you took this trade where would we be thinking we may bounce at the high and what quite often will happen at that high uh, and it didn't set up uh, now it's set up quite often you'll get a double top but there is another major move okay let's catch up so I think it was about a little bit down here somewhere so let's just go for I know it's not too far away from here the three trades so now we get a retracement of pullback once again um, well I shouldn't say once again for many of you are not sure what these mean but this is called a 3b this is a no-brainer okay so you've got a 3b entry to go long so what we go uh, that uh, right there is what we call a t10 and now we're very sideways so let me just give everyone an invaluable lesson here whenever you see your EMAs go sideways they become spaghetti stay out remember what the footprints to a trend are the footprints to a trend are a series of for long high highs and higher lows for a short lower lows and lower highs note here higher high higher low barely high but the most important giveaway here is look what's happening here with your major EMAs now where I will then be forgiving here is when I make a new lower low or we get a bounce back uh, off the major EMAs so coming back down we still don't uh, have a setup just there by the way and see this one just here uh, I wouldn't have taken that one just there definitely what I take and look at that there beautiful winner however if you had have taken this one you still would have been in and picked up a beautiful trade thank you very much had have taken jumped in there you would have been stopped out so if you had have taken this one here and by the way members that are watching this this was a t10 and oh, and I forgot to mention everyone I like to place my stop one tick below the low below the swing okay so I'll place my stop loss one tick below the low uh, on the NQ once I get it to an eight tick chart or a higher time frame I, the NQ is unique because it's very whippy I'll place my stop two ticks below or above unless I've got a runaway market what I mean by that if it takes off and say if my entry is up here somewhere I'm not going to have my stop way down here my risk reward is thrown out okay so up we go uh, what have I what do I say here I look at the AC one uh, so on the anchor chart one and two we had a big picture double top let me just show you this 
and this is where it's important that you learn how to trade with a higher time frame see this just here this is a double top right at the high I use three time frames initially when you start trading you only use two but then you want to expand it in the third time frame it's just things like this we're looking at and the overall trend okay so down we go and just here uh, so this is where and let me expand this now this is where I had my first trade here uh, this was oh, I didn't turn the uh, Dom on sorry so it's not going to show that's exactly where my entries were but was, never mind uh, just to show you this here let me just quickly just pull this down and show you there so you can see just there um, right where those lines are, are where I had my entries so just to show you this so I entered right there on this entry I entered on the high of that candle and I stayed with that trade and I uh, added to my position size right there which we'll see in a moment okay so we'll come back to that so here I'm selling now what did I mention before about selling into your major EMAs look at that there so I sell down into there and guess what I get a bounce straight off that again this is a 3b I was in on the high basically of that red candle there in I go and I added to the position thank you very much and if I remember correctly I had there I front both front run both trades now what does that mean when I front run see just here traders where if we had have taken this we miss the high by what we call one tick so if we go way over here see that point just there we missed that by one tick yep we did miss it now up here we actually punched through that level what I will usually do is I will front run if I've got plenty of room I'll front run into these levels meaning I will exit two or three ticks uh, before that high why because so many traders do that now here it went through okay yep I could have maybe got more out of it uh, but so be it so that was 337 just on one contract just before the room open in 12 minutes of trading now important is that that was a trend trade most of the trades I've been showing you here traders are trading with the trend beware of flat markets beware of trading after major angulation or divergence if unsure stay out this is ideally what we're looking for this is what we call a fanning of the EMAs so traders I've covered a great deal uh, in this 42 minutes come and join me come and let me teach you how to day trade the only uh, difference will be is the time frame that you trade and maybe the market for an example here I love trading the NQ uh, I used to call it the the nasty NAS I now call it the nifty NAS of reframe the meaning but if you want a slower market you've got the YM which is five dollars a tick also of a Russell you can also trade Forex exactly using the exact same setups there is no difference all markets are fractal in nature so come and join me you'll also get as I mentioned uh, within um, uh, the 197 eight live to our sessions it includes all my indicators there's no upsell traders okay there's nothing else to buy you might at a later stage choose to join my live trading room and if you wish to continue after the first month for $97 a month so you can drop me an email and say this is great I want to continue with the coaching okay traders so uh, you can join using the tab below traders I love day, day trading and I'll see you in the next video thank you